side. Oh, in another class. We have an apparel production class and they sew. Yes, ma'am. So we got people all around the room here. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, cool. My name is uh, Drew Thompson. I am the owner and fashion designer of Drew Christine Fabrics and Design. I graduated, actually started off at Kent State um, in fashion design. I ended up gra uh, transferring over to University of Akron and graduated with a degree in fashion merchandising. Um, I lived in LA for a little bit, uh, lived in Chicago for a little bit, and um, I guess eventually I decided to just open my own business. Uh, as a creative, um, I just found myself really hating, hating working and hating sitting in one place every day. And um, I took the plunge to open my business about 10 years ago. I'm located, is anybody from Cleveland in here? No Cleveland people, what? <laughs> so um, I'm located close to downtown, uh, close to Cleveland State University. So our area is called the Superior Arts District. And generally I like to be around other artists because it helps me work and helps me um, feel their creative creativity. Um, the space I am now is called Lake Effect Studios and it houses about uh, 10 to 12 other artists. So I have about um, 1,500 square feet. I teach sewing classes on the when I was 15, 13, actually. And um, I've been sewing ever since. I studied fashion merchandising, and I realized that is a better skill for what I'm trying to do because it helps me um, stay in contact with forecasting. I'm sure you guys are learning about trends and global issues and how all those things affect business. So I've learned how to sew on my own, and then I have the formal education in fashion merchandising. So I find the combination of the two are uh, pretty good um, with helping me run my business. So when I say self-taught, um, I think it's a little looser interpretation than what you guys call self-taught today. Um, my mother sews, my sister sews, so um, I still went through the whole formal process of using patterns and uh, all the correct terminology. I think now for your generation, self-taught means, you know, going on YouTube and so it's a little different. Um, so when I say any tips, is take a sewing class. So taking a sewing class will give you the foundations of sewing. It'll help you have the terminology. So for example, we have people that are self-taught that wants to work here, but if I'm talking to them in terms of the basic sewing terminology, they don't know what I'm talking about. So by taking a sewing class, you'll at least learn different stitches and you can talk to your, to your person. And it helps you just save a lot of time. So you're trying to make something and it's taking you three and four hours and you just could have had a pattern and made it, you know, maybe an hour. We teach sewing at our studio. Our beginner sewing class is probably one of our most popular and you hear the light bulb go off immediately from people who are self-taught or people who, you know, just haven't picked, kept up with the skills. So my advice, if they have a beginner sewer class, go ahead and take it, you know. myself. I upcycle like fabrics and whatnot. I make, you know, clothing, accessories. I sell local vendors markets. If you have anyone, any advice for me, uh, just, I suppose, going forth, like selling your own pieces, any marketing advice, anything you can see important my um, I think what's really cool about what's going on now is the whole upcycle sustainability um, era. I think it's really cool. You see, I see everybody doing it and I laugh. I'm like, I was doing that 10 years ago or 15 years ago. So now it's huge. Um, and again, I just always want to tell you to fall back on the fundamentals in order to charge a nice amount of money and get the money that you feel like it's worth. Just, you know, increase your skills. I still take a sewing class and I've been sewing 30 plus years and I still don't take the class to increase my skills. So, so I, I try to teach all designers to charge with their work because it just helps the whole market um, stay consistent. What do you do for your marketing? So I actually studied marketing. Marketing is like a major class minor. So I mean, I'm not interested in that. I'm not a So I'm the opposite. I was a, a merchandising major and a marketing minor. So um, the marketing piece, you guys have it so easy now because you guys have TikTok, Instagram, you have all that social media, and you 
can reach customers that people probably weren't able to reach, you know, even 10 years ago. Um, so I'm on everything. I am on Facebook. I know y'all think that's a dinosaur, but some of my clients I get on there. Instagram, I'm on TikTok. And follow me on TikTok because I'm trying to get a thousand followers so I can go live. Um, go ahead, get your phones out. Yeah, get your phones out and follow me on TikTok. <laughs> follow me on Instagram too. Um, thank you for being persistent. Uh, I think we've been trying to meet since 2020. So. <laughs> yes, 